Hey, good people. Welcome back. Mm, I don't know what, like my tone. Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. It is yet another day of Frizzmas, and I just want to thank you all for rolling with me thus far. Today, I'd like to call this video, Do We Still Love Her? And you clicked on it. This is all about this baby here. This is the Natasha Denona Trio Chrome Palette. I have always loved this palette, but I have not used it in so long. I've gotten so much eyeshadow this year. I can't remember the last time I've used it, but it was recently on sale for I think $78. And I know some people picked this up. So I just wanted to do a look with it and see, do I still love it the way I did when I first bought it in 2020? If you wanna see the look, keep watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, your passion, and you wanna connect with other makeup enthusiasts like me and just other members of the community, which is, I love this community so much. Definitely consider joining the community because I love to have you back. All right, let's get started. All right, so Natasha Denona. <laughs> I did pull out this palette recently because I changed one of the shades. So I will put up a picture of the original palette. I did opt to take out the shade Vertex and I took a shade from, mm, I was gonna say Circo Loco, but I don't think that's it. There was this Jubilee palette that was in a BoxyCharm and I think that's what this blue is from. The shade Vertex was just one that I was never gonna wear or grab for, so why keep it in the palette when we can pop something else in? One of the benefits of the Natasha Denona palettes. Now this was the holiday palette for 2020 and I was hoping for a big palette like this for 2021. We instead got Baby Glam, Mini Metropolis, and then the Face Glam palette, which surprisingly, the Face Glam palette, I got the light one, but then I ordered the dark one because, mm -hmm. however, I don't really look at that as like a holiday release. And honestly, the Trio Chrome didn't seem like a holiday release, but I really liked this and thought it was so different for her brand and really great for anybody who wants to get into duo chromes or duo chromes, because they're not multi-chromes, but duo chrome eyeshadows, but you might not want to do all of the searching and, and all of that that indie makeup would require. So I think this was great. And it was like, you know, a little grungy, pastel-y. It's just a really creative palette in my opinion. So let's go ahead and get started on just a little look. I'm not gonna hold y'all too long today because y'all know I'm going to work. Um, but I love pulling these palettes back out. I'm just looking for a brush and just reflecting on how I feel about them. All right, so we're gonna start with a Refer 27 fluffy brush. And hmm, I don't even know what I want to do. What a predicament. What did I wear yet? What color did I wear yesterday? I wore like a purpley look yesterday. Hmm, might be purpley again, y'all. We're gonna do tungsten. And I also figured this would be really good because as I was saying, I know some people did purchase this at the Natasha Denona Black Friday sale, which this is the second year that I've paid attention. I did not get anything, including the green brown palette. I did not get that. Because I said I don't need any more eyeshadow. And I didn't want to not be able to appreciate it. I'm not happy about it, as you can tell. Yeah, the shade Tungsten's a really pretty transitional shade. You know, this palette for me, well, one of the main reasons I love Natasha Denona are her matte shades. They're just very creamy. I don't know if any of these are the cream to powder. I'm not very good with uh, formulation ingredients, but I, for some reason, don't think those are in here, but I'm probably wrong. So if you know, let me know. Didn't have any time to do any, like, back research on the palette 
but look at this mm, just such a nice easy color blending out just no fuss no muss no hassle i'm also wearing a natasha denona lipstick this is the i need a new lipstick in the shade yama yana hold on it's in my pocket hold on I chose this because it just looked like it would complement the palette, Yana, Y-A-N-A. And I just felt like it was a nice, cool toned, I don't know, mauve pinky taupe. And it would be really complimentary to the palette. So we're gonna just go into the other side. And as you can see, these, just no effort, no effort with these. It's not patchy it's not I'm not pressing hard I'm just swiping it on simple swipes and it is just laying down really nicely so let me know how is holiday planning coming along I feel like I've slowed down and now what I would like to do tonight is really like I want to sit down I want to wrap some gifts and I want to see what else I need to get like we are getting into the thick of it and you know i don't want to be at the last minute like oh my gosh i forgot this person or i think the boys need something else although the boys they're good to be honest they they really don't need much at all we're gonna go into the shade manganese which is just gonna deepen this up a little more and i'm just taking a morphe coca-cola crease brush just just what i happened to grab placing this right into the crease. I can't tell you how happy it makes me to be pulling out this palette and just going back through my collection because I don't know, I've been completely out of hand. I have been. It's gonna stop. I am going to stop it. And I'll probably talk about it in a video. I definitely need 2022 to be a bit of a low buy year. I would like to just really stick heavily to a budget. I, I don't want to say no buy. I don't know how realistic that is. And I know I could do anything I put my mind to, but I don't want to do that. Um, but I think a low buy and just trying to be more picky is really imperative for me. I have some things that I need to do in my, in my house that are very important to me. And, you know, I have great makeup, like, really great makeup and i just need to acknowledge that and accept that because the makeup is great and having new makeup isn't going to make me better it's not going <laughs> to do anything it's not going to do anything for me like i love the makeup that i have you know and it's good it's, like it's good so it's just something to think about and i really want to be a part of the push to have these brands slow down slow down like quality over quantity i'm just taking a clean brush and i'm just trying to blend this out a little more because this one is like a lot i don't know more like i don't know it's like less harsh but yes i mean i know people say that but i mean it like quality over quantity like baby glam is a baby mask why are we doing that like we don't need that we didn't we didn't need that but yeah i think brands will follow i'm hoping brands will follow the uh consumers and i i hope so i hope they learn because these sales i mean i don't know because i got caught up in the sales and so i don't know if they'll follow that trend again because maybe they are recouping their money from the sales, but it's just too much. All right, this, this looks really nice to me. I like it. Mm. So now we're gonna go into the uh, shimmer. Now I'm trying to think. Now these duochromes are great. Like look at these y'all. And let's see if we can just see either one of these i think would be really beautiful with this look i think i want to use color flip which is this top pink one and then i want to go into kinetic which is the purple and then we can use uh scarab 
on the inner corner. That way we can use all three. All right, and then we'll figure out the lower lash lines. So let's start with Color Flip. And do I have any spray available? Oh, I do, hold on. So we got some Charlotte Tilbury uh, setting spray and I'm, what did I take first? Color Flip. I'm gonna use Color Flip and I'm gonna start it here. So we're looking a bit monochromatic right now, but the shift in this shade is really nice. And you know what? I remember when I reviewed this, I kind of said it was like a diet duochrome and that was rude, very rude. I don't want to say that at all anymore because here's what I think. Everybody doesn't want the drastic color flip. Sometimes, can y'all see it though? Sometimes it can make your eyes look dirty. You know what I mean? Sometimes you have to use them a certain way. And I think the way that she created this palette and these duochromes, she did it in a way where it would be easy for her fan base that wants to try something different. So I think that was kind of rude of me to say that it was like a diet grunge or a diet duochrome palette. I just think that it's a really easy one where you don't have to think so much about what you're doing. And I can really appreciate that because I'll say this, I'm, I'm actually going a little bit out of order. Well, there's no order in real life. I am actually going to, hmm, let me see how I'm gonna do this. I wanna go into the shade Scrap. It's a very, very, very grungy green. So I'm, we'll see if I get into that purple kinetic duochrome. I will say that last year at this time, I was working virtually and I had a bit more time to film. I don't have time right now at all. The fact that I'm even pulling Frismas off is nothing short of a miracle. But like how I'm creating this look right now before I go to work, the fact that I can pull this off and I don't have to put anything together, there's no guesswork, there's no figuring it out. That's why I appreciate this palette. And I now realize uh, the answer to my question, do we still love her? The answer for me is absolutely. And I think I love it even more because of how easy it is. And the more and more that I get into makeup and the more and more I'm trying to do more with YouTube because I just really enjoy this so much as well as the community. The figuring, the figuring it out, especially when I'm doing things with indie or singles and stuff like that, it can be just as time consuming for me as creating the video. And then you have the editing piece as well. When I do the BYOP collab with my friend Kelly over at Keep Beauty Real, I think it takes us the longest time to actually pick out the shades for that palette. And I am filming a lot of times before work and I don't have the time. So the fact that I can come up with a look like this and I would be done right now if I wasn't filming, I would be done. The fact that I can come up with something like this in minutes is beautiful. So I'm taking um, manganese, which was that initial deep shade and just placing it on the lower lash line. We're busy, you guys, all of us are busy. Whether you have kids or not, like we are busy. And I don't wanna fuss, I don't wanna fuss anymore. I just don't. So like, I like working with different eyeshadow formulas and I love learning about how to work with different brands. But when I'm getting ready for work, I, I honestly don't have time for this foolery, I don't. It's not foolery, but I don't have time for it during the week. I don't have time for it during the weekend, to be honest with you. So some of my initial um, thoughts about this palette, even though I, I never said anything like bad, like I really do like it and liked it from the beginning, but is it like beginner friendly for someone that wants to do duochromes and things like that? Absolutely. Is that a negative thing? Absolutely not. Let's see what Kinetic will look like, which is the purple one in the middle here. I don't know if it's gonna really show up like that. It is just a little bit. It's just to give it a little bit of transition. It's, it's not gonna be like, you can really, really see it. But yeah, I can, I can appreciate this palette even more so. And let's go into Scarab. 
scarab is just going to fill in the very first portion of the lid and the inner corner and there's some other great shades that you could do for an inner corner highlight you could do the shade ion or the shade vert i mean they're all great i'm just going to keep this a little dingy though today and there's the look y'all And if you don't like that dark inner corner, yeah, you could definitely light, lighten it up. Let's put eye on here. That's the matte green. It's not that light, but. Or you could even do um, plutonium, which is kind of like this orange here. You could use any of those. Um, the one shade I don't see myself using at all either is the shade Antrodite. So eventually that may get swapped out. Um, I just have no use for that in my life. So I'm probably not, not even as a, I mean, you could do a brow bone highlight with it. Okay, take that back. Never mind, it's staying. But I didn't need that and the vert shade. That was just vertex, I mean. I didn't need both. Okay, fix that eyebrow. Well, we're good to go. Uh, let me just grab a liner. I've got it right here. You know, usually I say I'll be right back, but I will be right back, literally. Um, oh, shoot, oh. So let's figure this out, what we wanna do. I don't know if I wanna do any like, oh, I know what I wanna use if I can find it, if it's sharpened, cause I, that's another thing. I don't have time to be getting up and sharpening stuff cause it is eight o'clock. My kids come in at 8.25, so I gotta get to work. I wanna use, here it is, let's see if it's sharpened. Mm. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go sharpen it, guys. I'll be right back. Of course I can't find a sharpener. This is great. You know, this is ridiculous. This is upsetting. I'm sure there's a sharpener right in front of my face. Now, that's how I end up late to work. I wanted to use, this would be perfect. This is the Urban Decay Eye Pencil in the shade High Vibes. This is like the perfect color, but lo and behold, there's no sharpener in sight. So, let's go to a plan B. Let's just do the Linda Hallberg. Um, I have a gray core crayon. We're just gonna use that. That green would have set it off though, but that's okay. We can't have everything. But I have on a gray sweater and I think it'll be a really nice touch. Just so y'all know, for blush, I have on Pat McGrath Divine Rose. And for highlight, because this highlight, I have been so stuck on it recently. It is Fenty. It is one of those duo highlights. She had one called, I think it was like Mint Mojito and Sandcastle. So it's... um like let me just get it i'm sorry again y'all this see i need to get work but y'all know i love this okay mint mojito minted mojito and sandcastle it's an oldie but goodie is this one and i'm wearing sandcastle look this this highlight is bomb i don't care now some of fenty's highlights are a bit glittery but this one is like look at that it's like oh, so beautiful and I was trying to pick something that was a little cooler toned because that's what this look is to me it's like cool so you can see the little accent from the eyeliner so even though it's not the green I wanted that's okay uh, I don't know if I'm gonna put anything on the top yeah I love that it's like smoky goodness I'm actually just I keep my eyeliner really thin and it's hard for me to do it on camera but my eyeliner pretty much stays in the lashes. It's borderline like tight lining. I mean, sometimes I do tight line and go underneath because eyeliner will ruin my whole look. It'll take my whole look away. That's what we've got. For mascara, I'm going to quickly prime my eyelids with the On The Rise Lash Booster by NYX Cosmetics. And I'm going to use, I grabbed the Nabla mascara. I also wanted to share, and I need to do a community post about it, but 
I did start using my Grande Lash and Brow Serum. I would say I started around December 1st. There have been a couple days where I have forgotten to put it on at night, but for the most part, I am making that a part of my nighttime routine. Not that I have like this crazy routine, but I am making it a part of that. So I need to like take some pictures so I can try to document the process because I am so loving not using false lashes. I, I will go back to the false scaras at some point, maybe for fun, but I love not doing any of it and just playing with different mascaras and seeing how they, you know, can enhance your natural lashes. I'm into that. So let's just go ahead and try this one out. I've had it for some time, but it was in a uh, miscellaneous drawer, so I just found it. So I don't know how long it takes the lash serum to work. I know it may take a few weeks, so I will keep you guys updated, but I think this looks good. Yeah, I'm loving like trying out different mascaras and um, seeing like what they do for you. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go down the bottom. All right, y'all, this is my work look today. I will probably keep the ears on as well, cause why not, it's Christmas time. Let me know what you think about this look. I like it, I think it looks great. All right, y'all, well, consensus is, I love her even more. I really love her. So if you picked up the Trio Chrome palette by Natasha Denona, I hope that if you got it, you received some inspo. And I hope that if you're waiting for it, that you are even more excited to get it because this one, this was a good one. This was, is a good one, a great one as a matter of fact. So that's all I got today. Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me on another day of Christmas. I hope this was therapy for you because it definitely was for me. And until I see you again, which y'all know will be tomorrow, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I'll see y'all then. Bye.